Well, guys, we have uh, some good things to talk about and some bad things to talk uh, about. Well, uh, let's talk about the good things. Uh, we're not, because I don't like that <laughs> method. We're going to talk about the bad things. Does any of it involve me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it does, Timmy. We're replacing you. <laughs> uh, guys, this is my last episode. <laughs> I'm firing you. You don't pay me. <laughs> so, one of the things was that we've been doing some things wrong, which, coming from first edition into second edition, is bound to happen. Um, one of the major ones, which to me wasn't an issue because a lot of it was just sort of flavorful, was we were doing detect magic wrong. Or mm-hmm. detect magic and then discovering the magic item and all that. So Kelly and I were talking about this over text. So it, it, the the turns go like this. You detect magic in, in one instance. And then I give you a yes or no whether or not you have detected magic in that, in that area. Then after that, you, you use detect auras, which will actually give you the precise location. Read aura. Read aura. Read aura, which will give you the precise location uh, of those magic items. Uh, no, and no, no. then Radar is you have to actually be holding the item. You have to. It doesn't radar. You need to be holding the magic item, and it'll tell you yes, magic or no magic. Gotcha. But so you, yeah, like, uh, con- you concentrate on like a sword. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then after that, then you need to actually use the identify skill or uh, uh, action in order to figure out what it is. So like, Arcana, religion, occult. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, we've been doing it a, a little loosely. Uh, honestly, it, it sort of just sped, sped up the, the play. So, I w- I'm not upset with it, but if we want to keep to the, keep to the rules, we're we going to do it like that. Um, so, I, I, got, I, I got the rules up here, so we're going to you know, keep it there. <laughs> well, uh, I, do, I just like with the, knowledge, with the recalling knowledge is there's critical fails, successes, and then there's uh, critical successes. So, yeah, so, like, so determining what a magic item does won't always be super clear, which I actually really like. Yeah, I, well, we were talking about this over text when, we, when he was telling me about the, how the rules are supposed to go. And uh, critical success is like, you know exactly what it is. You even know nice. the name. You know, you know everything about it. Critical failure is hilarious because it says you get inaccurate information. Ooh. And I can't wait for you guys to critically fail on trying to, and trying to figure out what a magical yeah. item is. <laughs> Oh, you found a wand of healing. You cast firewall on yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, let me just heal you, burning hands. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think it's a positive channel, right? <laughs> uh, so one of the other things was uh, bo- poor old Timmy here <laughs> has been using his divine lance incorrectly. Yes. I'm only supposed to lance the chaotic. Yes. <laughs> and no one else. So, so a- explain, the, explain why, wh- why that is there, Timmy. So alignment damage works that it only affects the alignment of the opposite type. And because Abadar is only a lawful neutral, I can only cast a Divine Lance as lawful, and that only affects chaotic. If I was following like a good deity, then I could cast a good Divine Lance that would affect bad or evil creatures. But alas. So now I have to be very choosy with who I throw my Divine Lances at. Mm. That's true, that's true. Um, to sort of aid in this, do you have a detect alignment uh, ability to, to in order to figure out if you can uh, uh, affect someone with divine lance? Let me see my spells, but I don't think so. Okay, all right. Well, look at that because that might actually help because you might you might be able to just like detect alignment and then that will decide what you do for the rest of the uh, rest of the combat with the uh, with those creatures. Um, oh my gosh, detect alignment is a first level spell i'd have to spend a first level Ouch. spell to find out if they're to find out the different auras and you has just to cast be, a cantrip on them no there's no cantrip for that well no 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 Damn. but but you use a first level spell to detect their alignment and then use the divine lance cantrip yeah that's what i was saying well yeah but still so i mean it kind of evens out but it does feel a little like like if you use the, if you use the detect alignment and then and then you can't use divine lance it feels kind of bad or i could that just, just feels sorry go ahead or i could just use my crossbow which is a 1d8 that's true <laughs> you could just chunk him with a crossbow that, bolts yeah i think we're going <laughs> to we're going to see more of uh adlar's uh, <laughs> adlar's archery skills now <laughs> yeah it just those First of all, spells just seem too valuable to waste on yeah. divine lance. Yeah, I mean, I got some, I got some pretty, pretty good level one spells. I'm uh, hopefully going to be able to use. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and speaking of using cool stuff, level two. Woo! Woo! 
You guys hit level two. This, this is the sp- first time we have we have uh, leveled up uh, uh, Pathfinder Second Edition characters. Uh, wow. So I want to go around the table and talk about uh, what cool things you got. Uh, just as a baseline, pretty much a lot of things go up by one because uh, a lot of proficiencies mm-hmm. are your proficiency level plus your plus your actual level. So I'm gonna talk about that, but talk about some cool things that you got. Um, so let's go around the table. Mark, what did uh, what did Elk get? I'm not his, prepared. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you better nah, be. Oh, I am prepared. So, Elk, so it's first time playing a ranger, so I don't have to deal with any spells or any of that yeah, jargon. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, but f- for one thing, in second edition, i kind of amazed how much HP I got. So that's a nice level up. Uh, but I took one, I believe their feats, so I'm probably going to be wrong on that, but one feat that I did pick was Hunted Shot. Okay. Which allows me to take two actions mm-hmm. on the turn, but it gives me a plus two circumstance bonus, and if someone's in concealment, it goes through that. Whoa. Whoa. That's actually huge. Yes. That's real big. Yeah, that's really Except good. Except the one thing, it does take two actions, so I better hit that. Like, and like, But the way I'm playing my character is he's trying to do like one shot, one kill. Yeah, kind of base, yeah. Because like, you... Like, otherwise, it's like a waste of errors, because it's like, okay, I hit again, one damage, mm. like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But this is pretty good. And the other one I took was, oh, God, if I can remember, it's like Cat's Grace, I believe, which, mm, it allows me to take fall damage. Um, if anything, it's more than 10 foot, or 10 feet, I it's pretty much negated. Oh, wow. So I don't take damage if I fall 10 feet. That's awesome. But and then it levels up uh, with expert and oh, okay. all that so, stuff. Okay, so yeah, so it it, it goes up. That, that's kind of cool because uh, a lot of people can't fall. That's what it was. Can't fall. I was close. A lot of people can, uh, falling damage doesn't happen enough for people to really think about it. But falling damage hurts a lot. Yes, mm-hmm. <laughs> as we saw with the fight with the with the Grolodon, or Ooh. before the Grolodon. Ah, uh, the day. I, I, Adelar took a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, great. He fell from the top, so like you know. Yeah. But uh, but, but like because it, it's saying um, in the text, it's like treat falls as ten feet shorter. Yeah. So yeah. and but like then once you're an expert, it treats twenty five feet shorter. Whoa. And then if you're a master in acrobatics, it's fifty feet shorter. Fifty. Oh imagine gosh. falling fifty. Imagine yeah, falling. I'm good. Yeah, imagine <laughs> I, I imagine us as regular humans falling ten feet without taking any damage. Yeah. <laughs> like, if I fell ten feet on my back, I would be like, Oh shit. Geez. Except this is like fifty feet. Like just pretend that like I fall and then I just combat roll at the very end. I'm like, Okay, I'm yeah. good. Yeah, like, and then don't you're worry about it. You're fine. And yeah. then everyone just watches this elf just like, <laughs> didn't you just fall fit? Fall fit Don't feet? worry about it. No, I didn't. It's all good. I definitely didn't. You're, you're like a cat when a cat falls. You just like get up and act like it didn't happen. Turn around <laughs> in midair, <laughs> land all four feet. Yeah. And uh, the only other thing is with Skult, he just levels up kind of like regular. Okay. So, so all this. Just, just static bonuses. Yeah, static gotcha. bonuses for now. And cool. Until much later, he gets better. Gotcha. But, yeah, it's fairly easy to awesome. level up rangers in this. I love it. Well, uh, all right. So that, and Elk got some cool stuff. What about what about Sir Benson? Benson got a a bit tankier, which is nice. We also figured out we have not been using the shield quite right, so we're going to adjust that. Yeah. But that does make me tankier. Yes, so yes, it does. Yeah. I also took the hefty hauler feet, so my bulk was increased by two. Nice. And, um, I can't remember. Vengeful Oath. So now I can cast Divine, or Lay on Hands, to do good damage instead of just heal. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, so, so, so yes. now, he, now he can bitch slap criminals and deal six <laughs> good damage. <laughs> Sick. Uh, cool. So, uh, and yeah, that was, all, that was all for Benson. Yeah, leveling you up was easy. I remember that. that was yeah, well, I was kind of conflicted with taking the good damage, but it's kind of like a magic missile idea. It's guaranteed damage. Yeah, So. yep. Yep, as long as you... Yeah, I mean, the, you know, it's 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 six damage flat. You don't have yep. to roll for it or anything like that, so... Is it a touch attack, th- or some sort of, like, attack? Nope. Th- really? Nope. It's a ranged... Or is it a ranged touch attack? Uh, it should it, it, it should it should just be, like, a regular, like, like touch attack. Uh, it should be an unarmed attack. Unarmed attack, but, yeah. But, I mean, th- th- he's a paladin. He can... <laughs> he can true, he yeah. can hit pretty uh, well. Yeah. He's a champion. Yeah. Champion. <laughs> no, he's off good. He's a paladin. Oh, okay. Oh. So, know your stuff, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not his class, so I don't care. Yeah. Get schooled. That's fair. Uh, Timmy. So, Adelar, um, he got a feat, and the feat is called Holy Castigation. And <laughs> cool. I know. So, basically, <laughs> so cool. when I do my 
my thir- three channel heal or any oh any heal any. any heal that I do, I can hurt devils and demons for damage. Whoa! Yes. Not just undead. Not just undead. Nice. So That's really good. Yeah, I've expanded the types of monsters that I can use my heal to hurt. And guess what? If I do like a burst, like a channel. I heal and hurt at the same time. That's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. That might be the perfect feat for this campaign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it because I was debating between um, uh, a couple feats. One that I'll get later, so I won't mention. But I settled on Holy Castigation because I was like, okay, this is place is called Hell Knight Hill, so there's probably going to be some more devils around. There might and I know, be some more, yeah. And I know, at, you know, Adelar is probably like, oh, I need to, you know, use my energy to like hurt these guys so he's like Abaddon give me strength and Abaddon's like I got you <laughs> <laughs> that went really well with those skeletons I got you oh. fam <laughs> the skeletons don't remind me <laughs> I was just he's learned he did <laughs> I, like I, I keep thinking back to that and I'm just thinking of like what if you channeled and just rolled like a one like That's minimum true. you're like I got this and you're like oh oh no <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tank wants you to get somewhere move your ass <laughs> yeah yeah, it, it was it was really unfortunate because Ad- Adelar had a great idea. He was going to oh, channel. Yeah. He was yeah. going to hit all of those things. They happened to go first. Yeah, and that's when initiative I matters. Know. Yeah, <laughs> and that's that's why it matters so bad because it would have been badass for Adelar just to negate that fight immediately. Mm-hmm. It would have oh, been yeah. so badass. Yeah. Absolutely, but it went the other way. Instead, they jumped him <laughs> into the dead crew. <laughs> <laughs> he he walked into our new band, the Blunder of Skeletons. That we call it. <laughs> skeleton skeleton blunder. The skeleton blunder. <laughs> And finally to Kezra. With Kezra, I want you all to go into your mind's eye for a second. I want you guys to see a country manor on the outskirts of a small town not far from Taldor's capital, Opara. It is a warm spring day with some passing, puffy clouds. A courier rides through the gate and up the walk, dismounting next to a sign that reads, Bolton Manor. He knocks at the door and is greeted by a servant. Good day. I have a few letters for Lord Bolton today from Apara, and I have one that appears to be from across the inner sea, from Marab, I believe. Uh, ah, yes, this must be the potions for Master. Thank you. Uh, you better get back to town. It looks like some rain could be rolling in. Uh, yes, I have one more step, but I think I can beat the rain. Uh, good day. The courier leaves, and the servant takes and delivers Lord Bolton's mail. He then leads up to the stairs in the manor, Heads down a long hall and knocks on a door in the corner of the house. Yes, come in. It's open. He opens the door to a fragrant room, slightly steaming from a kettle boiling over a small fireplace. A finely dressed Kezra sits at a long workbench in the window with his back to the door. A letter for you, sir. Uh, Shall I leave it at your end table? Uh, I believe it is from your hometown. No, 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 I'll take it. Kezra gets up and walks across the room. Uh, uh, very good, sir. Oh, and Lord Bolton would like to speak with you when you have a moment. Uh, of course, uh, I'll take my mail and I'll be down in a minute. Very good. The servant leaves and Kezra has a seat back at his workbench and opens the letter. Dear Father, I was pleased to receive your previous letter, and thank you for the money. It was most helpful. I am happy that you found employment in Taldor. It seems that they are treating you well. I hope you are treating them well and kind. The shop is doing well. Cyril and I seem to, be, seem to have calmed things down with the guild since the incident. Though we are still on a tight leash. I'm not sure Cyril is quite ready for you to visit any time soon, but I would like to see you. I hope you are finding your place in the world, Father. I know you're capable of great things, but you've never let anyone help you. Please do stay out of trouble. Write often. With love, Lana. Kezra then tucks the letter into his coat, puts out a flame on the workbench, and heads downstairs to find Lord Bolton. He finds Bolton taking his breakfast with his master of arms, Tychus. Ah, Kezra, come, have a seat. Kezra sits down at the table with him. Uh, how's your day today, my lord? Uh, well enough. Kezra, you have been serving as my potions master for nearly half a year, is that correct? Uh, I think that is correct, yes. And would you say you have served me faithfully during this time? Uh, 
Uh, uh, of course, Lord Bolton, of course. Uh, coming from Bluvia, your reputation was obvious. To have tonics made from that region is a big deal for me. Things really seem to have been working out with you here. And I have really enjoyed you working in the house. Uh, then suddenly two guards holding boxes enter the room accompanied by someone Kezer hadn't seen before. He quickly realized the boxes were filled with his potions and work tools. Kezra shoots up. What is the meaning of this? Uh, Kezra, uh, this is Jamie. He is a fellow alchemist. I ran into a few days back when I made my trip to Apara. I told him of all of your work and how you are from Thuvia. How you have brought many of your secrets and tricks of alchemy from the famed city of Barab. I was most impressed with you, Master, Mr. Kezra. That is until Lord Bolton let me take a look at some tonics he had on his person at the time. When he handed them to me, I thought it was some sort of joke. <laughs> you, you see. Kezra stands up, uh, but at that moment Tyke's sword was drawn and at his throat. L Lord Bolton, I, I, I don't know what he's talking about. My, my potions are good. I've served you well, have I not? Lord Bolton stands up and faces Kezra immediately. Oh, Kezra, you are a clever man, but your time is up and you've conned me for the last time. Lord Bolton punches Kezra in the stomach <gasps> as, as the two guards grab him and pin him down on the table. Dishes go spilling everywhere. Lord Bolton then grabs an iron from the fire and holds it just above Kezra's face. You have done well to earn your con so far, but you will never cheat in Taldor ever again. Bolton presses the thief's brand into Kezra's forearm, leaving a hideous scar. <laughs> then the guards drag him out into the yard, and the doors close, and Kezra <laughs> screams. So, Kezra, how's your level two level up? <laughs> Going oh. great, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm surprised you lived through that. <laughs> he could have killed you. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Uh, so I am going to keep a little bit of my level up a surprise. Okay. Uh, but I will give you my skill feat. Excellent. I took alchemical crafting. Oh, uh, on par with the story we just mm. heard. Because <laughs> there's uh, interest with all of the potions and antidote ingredients and arsenic that we found throughout the the uh, Hell Night Hill so far. It all makes sense now. He's normally yeah. our good dealer. <laughs> yeah, and th there was a hint at some of this uh during a during some dialogue if you if all of our listeners want to go back mm. yeah <laughs> but uh yeah th li little little hint hint at it but we have a little bit of insight to kezra's background and where he comes from and well there's, there was quite a bit in there actually mm -hmm. and to add on to that um adelar also took bargain hunter for his skill feat so, as you can imagine... <laughs> so, you just you just harass <laughs> random merchants in town. Oh, so God. I'll be like, get your elixirs, get your elixirs. <laughs> oh, my God. When we were reading the skill feats and we saw Bargain Hunter, when we were leveling up at a lot, we were like, yes. <laughs> A skill feat that literally helps you just haggle shit down and yeah. sell your shit overpriced. <laughs> we're going to be shilling min mineral water outside of the... Uh, Hell Night Hill. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hell Night Hill mineral water. <laughs> the, the, the best part is that Breacher would love it because they right? love craftsmen. <laughs> you'll, you'll cure the demon in you. <laughs> so you guys... Well, first I want to do something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So on line, or I was messing around with certain things at work, and so... Booth... I'm doing some prototypes. Ooh. Of uh, so explain what these are, Mark, for yeah. our for our listeners at home. So these are basically are out oh, here, sir. Ah, thank you. Neato. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So these are just engravings that I've been working on. I'm trying to get the pattern down, so I was just using the sample of her, the gods. That yeah, you use. this is amazing, man. Oh my gosh, this, this is cool. incredible. I just yeah. have to figure out how to properly do it, and then eventually. We like because the, 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 the programs I'm using like are a little bit testy, okay, depending on how I use paths. Mm -hmm. And so it might try to say, okay, everything's going. You're like, no, I just want this, but it, okay. it's not as intuitive. So, uh, the, what, what are these made out of? 
Uh, this is just like a, a basic plastic engraving stock. So it's like you okay. see the white, and then but the very thin veneer of like black on top. Gotcha. Or... So so these are all these are all, all all plastic engraved symbols of uh, of of the deities, deities that we follow. Yeah, so like and, and Pathfinder, Calistrius. There will be pictures on the Instagram. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Most, yeah. most definitely. Yeah, this is incredible. Um, and Mark, if these are prototypes, these are fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. that's it. I have to like try to get it because then if after a while I'll be able to actually um, buy more. Gotcha. For it, and as long as I make sure everything's correct with the uh, files, like the measurements and all that stuff, because right now I don't have a border, okay, uh, to make perfect circles exactly. Oh, so, gotcha. but I was trying to think of like, well, it'd be easy. Oh, symbols, and then I got the Adelars. So I was like, God, Avatar symbols so cool. It, it's cool, <laughs> but it's like but it's not a circle. <laughs> yeah, I, the circle probably would have been more effective if yeah. I took away the bomb. But the key is, you know, pivotal. And uh, I am a days is, yeah. I don't know if you saw. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's bad. Oh, that's fantastic. So cool. Yeah, Shady we're we're gonna post these on the Instagram with, uh, when this episode comes out. Right, so. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Ass. I said I was just trying to get something uh, like planned. Awesome. But once I get it down to a science, I can buy more. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> th- th- this would be awesome. Um, well, cool. After that, now we have something to put on our desk or where, you know wherever wherever you want. Man, these mm. are these are awesome. Um, need little engravings. But on to the Citadel All Terrain Vaults, as they are called. <laughs> so you go into this hallway. You travel for a little while. Uh, as you're walking, Elk, Helbo holds you back for a second, and she's like, hey, you, you walk with animals, yes? Ah, uh, yes, well, I do one. Oh, as you see right here, I do. Uh, well, uh, I wanted to tell you about uh, the Bumblebrush mascot down there. The mascot? Yes, her, her name is Big Bumble. <laughs> no, I, now you piqued my interest. Now what is this Big Bumble? Uh, well, she is a bear. Ah, okay. Huh. Well, okay, I should... It's a cute name. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. What happened was we attempted to uh, get a mascot uh, <laughs> as for our tribe and... Uh, <laughs> It just well, <laughs> it, it it ate a few of us. Oh, <laughs> no uh, kidding. How so? Big, how so big is this bear? Uh, it's big. Ah, oh. it's very big. But but, please be nice to it. It, it, it is a, our friend. Oh dear. Okay. Um, I will see what I can do. When was the last time you visited this? Uh, uh bumble, bra- bumble, right? Bumble, B- big bumble, big bumble, big bumble. Oh, well, we have been a the top of Citadel terrain now for weeks. What does it eat if how long is it... So it's been starving down here. Uh, I mean, maybe. <laughs> oh dear, you cannot have any animals. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. So she's speaking to me in Goblin, probably? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so... Nothing to worry about, guys. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> what shouldn't we be worrying about, Al? <laughs> Don't worry about it. So, she says they have a mascot down here, and its name is Big Bumble. Well, oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> it's a bear. <gasps> oh. And it's been down here for weeks, as she has been saying, and I don't know what's down here, so has it hasn't been eating. It could be dead. It could be... There's a fair chance the animal's dead, then. But bears. Bears. Well, was it a bear on. or a bugbear? Oh, it, was, it was a big brown bear. Big brown. It was a brown bear. And what does she want us to do with this bear? Don't kill it. Ah. Mm. Be nice to it, she says. <laughs> well, let um, let's. Uh, so let's be on the lookout. Adelar is going to look in his bag and remember that we collected some rations from the kitchen. So that is true. Yeah, you got. I think it was like eight, eight, mm-hmm. eight pieces of rations. Yeah. So I, I take those out of my little my little sack and I give them to oh, Elkwood. Yeah. And I said, "Well, <laughs> this is this is for when we oh, inevitably geez. find Big Bumble." Said uh, I don't have a good feeling about this at all. Um, I don't either. Now we have to look for Winnie the Pooh down here. <laughs> said a big brown bear. Well, and then he's all turned back to um. Back to her. I will do what I can. Uh, we have some food, so hopefully uh, we can. Oh, good. Good. It. Yes. Well, well, what we did was when it ate a few of our goblin brethren. Oh, uh, it also ate some of her brethren. So we, we know we, it. We barricaded it in a room and 
decided that th that was a uh, success, uh, and we've just been feeding it from behind the wall. Lady, <laughs> I swear, call Peter. <laughs> Even Peter has nothing on this. <laughs> Uh, we will do what we can. Thank uh, you, thank you. B Big Bumble is is just... She is a friend. A friend. Got it. Okay. Uh, now, just wait up here and we'll do what we can. Thank Let's you, thank go. you. Benson is confused. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys make your way down. Oh, uh, actually, which... Where? Do you remember which room? Uh, yes, I believe it is in the northern section. Oh, jeez, that helps. Uh, <laughs> does, is there a check I can roll to make sure that she's not just, like, bullshitting? Like, she goes, oh, I don't remember. Yeah, go go and, ro and roll a perception for uh, <laughs> to, to, to see if she's if she's just lying to you. Oh, well, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be deception? It, uh, it actually is uh, a perception. Oh, it is? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I, it's in, in, in the book, it actually said perception hmm. at one point, so. I rolled a 12. So. Okay, so y you think she's honest. Well, and she's uh, if, because you speak goblin, you know not, not many goblins lie about things either. Oh, uh, mm. true. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they're all personality. They have no reason to lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or otherwise, you'd probably see it really fast. Yep. So, and I would relay that information. She says it's somewhere in the north. Um, so, let's do keep a quick lookout and be stealthy this time. Yep. We don't want any attraction to... You know, if we hear a roar, <laughs> we'll just run back upstairs. <laughs> and I think we have reason to believe there might be cultist so, down here, right? Oh, yes. Hmm. Yes. Uh, it gives me ideas, but yes. It's fed frog people? Yes, wasn't it? Uh, there was... Last time we heard it was some... Yeah. I, I can't... Yeah, the goblins them. told Benson it was frog people. Yeah, frog. All right. I assume I cannot see any more down here. Uh, no, it is extremely dark. Yeah. So Adlar pulls out a copper and lights it up. All right. Um, so as you are walking through this narrow corridor, it opens up to a long hallway. Uh, uh, Benson, you feel a hand on your shoulder, and it's Alok, and he's like, Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good buddy. Best How friend. you doing? <laughs> Listen, friend, there's no one else I'd rather <laughs> traverse this dungeon with than you. Then let's forge ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, Elk is going to be right behind him and like percepting. Like he, like he will actually he'll stealth up a little bit further, mm -hmm. but be stealthing the entire time. Gotcha. <laughs> Just perceptions. So it opens up to a long hallway, from what you can tell. Uh, uh, Adelar's uh, your coin only goes out thirty feet. Is that correct? Twenty feet. And Twenty I, I, feet. I'm giving it to the person who's up front. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so Benson's holding this coin up, and it goes out twenty feet. And it actually, if it's if it's, I might as well just light up Benson's shield then. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right, so Benson's shield is is shining with the with the the, the light of Avatar, and it is a uh, it's it's shining a, a good bit, but only twenty feet. And it, this hallway definitely goes beyond that. <laughs> well, then I will just slowly start moving. Yeah. Out. Okay. As you start walking forward, you hear something in in the in the back of the hallway echo. And it and it and it sounds like. Was that? two gigantic birds come flying at you. What? Oh man! Huh? Everyone, roll me initiative. <laughs> Goblins. Birds. <laughs> Goblin birds. Hey. Oh, there you go. I was ready. Jesus. I Christ. was ready as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> going around the table. I'm gonna go the other way this time. Uh, Kezer. Six. Awesome. Uh, Adelar. 11. 11. Very nice. Timmy, can you give me some music, please? Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Uh, Benson. 20. Good. And Elkwood. 24. 24. Ooh. Wow. Look at you guys. I was ready. I was right there, man. Yeah, you were, you were right there. Uh, so these massive birds come up. They have a... Uh, Fantastic plumes on their head. They look really out of place for being down here. Lovely plumage. Uh, <laughs> so let me go ahead and pull up a picture of these things for you. Are they like flying right up or like flying? Oh, they're attack? they're flying in to attack you. Yes. Okay. Look. I'm not sure if they were like fly by attack and gone. We set them free. They can go outside. <laughs> Be free, friends. <laughs> oh, why? 
So these uh, birds look like this. Oh, I saw a As they come into the light, you realize that they have beautiful color and plumage on them. Oh, I can make so many cool arrows with that. Are they small? Uh, these birds... Large. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that would be <laughs> horrifying. <laughs> How would they fit down the hallway side by... Like, they couldn't do a side yeah. by side. No, they're medium. They're the size of a person. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so they're like... Big neon y looking peacock thing with that. Yeah. They're those Martians from Bugs Bunny. Remember those? Oh, uh. Take a low in the dark. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh. Giant birds. Giant. Plumage. Neon y birds. Oh. So these birds fly up and attack you. <laughs> Going first is Oakwood. All right. Oh, jeez. Um, so, Elkwood is going to immediately uh, hunt prey okay. on him uh, as one action. All right. And second action, he's going to shoot the one right in front of Kezra. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, no. Uh, the one. Yeah. The one actually. Yeah. Well, actually, the one in Kezra's. Oh. Yeah. Shoot okay. And they both get a little cover, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, so go ahead and, and take a shot. Yeah, because an action for nature. I just want to shoot these things right now. Ah, damn. Uh, that's only a 10. Uh, that does not hit. Yeah, so he's going to command um, third to command uh, Skult to rush and attack the one in front of Kezra. So he's going to be move him behind that bird. Yeah, so flanking. So Kezra will be flanking now? Uh, yeah. Um, but that was one action to have him move. Okay. And also found this out, animal companions only get two actions. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Darn. Uh, and he's just going to attack. Oh, uh, that would be a... Crap. Gotta get my, my sheet. Ah, so a 18? Uh, an 18 does not hit. Oh, mm. shit. Yeah. Okay. Huh. That's it for me, then. Oh, wait, you were flanking? Hold on. Uh, yeah. Oh, then yes. Yes, that was a hit. My bad. Okay. Yep. So that hits. All right. So that's a 1d4. Uh, 1d8, sorry. Uh, nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Chomp. Not, not bad. Woo! With a chomp right on its, like... It's a hearty smack. Yeah. Thigh. <laughs> right on its thigh bone. Excellent. It wants that wing, yo. <laughs> uh, okay. Nice, nice bite from a uh, sculpt there. Uh, after that, it comes to Sir Benson. All right, so look at the map here real quick, Jake. Uh -huh. Is that accurate? Or are they right up on us? They're right up on you. Okay. Well, then Benson will just swing at the one directly in front of him. Okay. That's a miss. Oh, damn. One more. That's another miss. I raised oh. my shield. And you raised your shield. Damn. Unlucky. So... Swipe. Swipe. <laughs> swing, swing. Miss, miss. Uh, next come, it comes to a lock. Um, oh, damn. Good thing that not like the front line people are going at it. Yeah. Uh, so a lock is going to do a power oh. attack on the one directly in front of him there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does he have to... I, I don't want to jinx it, but like he's have to. Does he have reach? So we the no. reach rules changed in second edition, so okay. there's no penalty for using a pole arm at a five foot reach. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, yep. That was a oney thing. Yep. It's not the same anymore. Yeah. Oh. It's, uh, reach weapons are way cooler. It's just real, really fucking powerful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so a, a lock got a 17 on the die. <laughs> there you go. For a uh, <laughs> whopping 27. Oh Damn. My God. Uh, so he hit pretty hard, and this was power attack, so he's going to go ahead and roll 2d10. Oh. What? Yep. Yep. I'm glad he's on our side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. A lock, a lock hit this thing pretty damn hard, and it, this is the same one that... Uh, Skull uh, just chomped Yeah, that Skull chomped on. Um, so he did a whole... Yeah, he did, a, he did a whole 10 damage. He actually rolled low and got 10 damage out of it, wow. so... Still, yeah. Still, I mean... Yeah. Dead bird. Please. Yep, and then... <laughs> he said yep. <laughs> That's good. That's about, about all he can do. Um, after that, it comes to... 
the birds. Ah. So the one bird that uh, is slowly uh, it is it has taken a few hits. He's gonna go ahead and start flapping his wings and gracefully dance in place. Can everyone make me a will save? Oh, what? Oh man! <laughs> what? No, I don't want bir- to. This bird's a paradise shit. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, it, ca- it kind of looks like a bird of paradise. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my lowest score in it. Yeah. Could be a 22 for Kezra. Ooh. 22, you're fine. Expert in will. <laughs> That's good. I'm an expert in will as well, and I got a 12. <laughs> uh, luckily, it wasn't a critical failure, so you're... you're, you're <laughs> uh, Benson. 15? Uh, 15 is a regular failure. 22. 22, that is a regular success. Yes. So Actually, would I, have to, I would probably have to roll for Skult as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I, I've, I've rolled for... Uh, for Alok as well. Okay, well, let me... Ah, Skull got 23. <laughs> <laughs> Skull's fine. <laughs> He's a weirdly willful wolf, all right? <laughs> Don't worry about it. So everyone that failed, including Alok, actually, is dazzled Ooh. Mm. for uh, four rounds. Huh. Uh. And dazzled, that's a minus one. your AC, right? So or dazzled, uh, your eyes are overstimulated. Your vision is only... is Your vision is your only precise sense. All creatures and objects are concealed from you. Yeesh. Oh, that's worse than it used to be. It's yeah, very worse. It's yeah. much worse than it used to be. So, can, it's, you said my sight is my only precise sense. Yes. Okay. So, oh, you, so you have to hit the DC uh, flat oh, check. Oh, right. DC yep. eleven flat okay. check to, to hit people. So to hit it. these things, you got to hit, hit hit that check. Gotcha. Damn, Dazzle used to be like a nothing. Yeah, it, yeah. It was it was like a first level thing that you right. did just to get those minuses in. Well, now mm-hmm. it's concealment, which is awesome. Oh. Which is like what a negative last. It was a negative one to yeah, it attack. Was like a, it was like a minus one yeah, to perception. Wasn't that much? Yeah. But but now damn. That's rough. The yep. Uh, then the other one is going to go ahead and do something called Tail Lash. Uh, the creature makes a tail strike against two different creatures within reach. Uh, the bird's multiple attack penalty does not increase until it has finished both attacks. So he's going to go and do the one on the northern side in front of uh, Benson. It's going to do two tail slashes against Benson and Kezra. Two tails. First Can one. I use Redemptive Strike? Uh, it's. It has concealment, though. It right? has concealment, so I, mm. I would think you could do the damage reduction, but you would still have to roll the concealment in order to to get the right. head off. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right. So first one coming out is gonna be a, uh, twenty total to hit you, Benson. Nope. All right. Good. Bounces off the shield. Bounces off the shield. Oh, you're so yeah. tough. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's, yeah, because you raised it. Okay. Well, you, you raised your shield, so your shield will take damage then? It, it doesn't matter. My AC is 20. That oh, right, right. Yeah, it has to be Tracy. You're right. Okay. Uh, so it gets a second attack on Kezra for a total of 27. Oh, <laughs> that's a critical hit. <laughs> oh. Just, it's always. <laughs> always. Oh. Well, it's a good thing we found out that backstory right before you died. <laughs> 27. Jesus Christ. Uh, I found one of these It's okay, I'm taking four of that away from it. <laughs> so take 18 damage. Oh, 14 my. damage. 14 Wait, damage. Did you make your DC 11 flat check? Yeah, um, yeah you, you, you do get a free. Well, you I get thought a free I got the damage reduction for free. No, no, yeah, no. yeah, you get the damage reduction for free, but you, you can still get your attack for Oh, yeah. okay, got yeah. you. Okay. So I got to beat a what? So roll, roll, a, roll a flat 11 or higher, and then we'll get to see if you actually if you actually get to make a regular attack on it. Easy. Yep. Can do it without a problem. I didn't get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so these Jeez. vibrant colors start swinging in front of you, and all of a sudden you just can't figure out what the hell's going on. It's like it, it's it's like there's just these these streaks of color, and then all of a sudden Kezer just gets hit in the chest and is oh. just gaping his side uh. open. <sighs> wouldn't wouldn't be an episode of DPS if it wasn't <laughs> Kezer getting fucking crit in the first round of combat. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, it's your turn, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay. Hopefully, I'll start rolling crits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as, as is tradition now. Uh, after the birds, it goes to Adalar. Okay, so do I have to hit a DC 11 in order to heal Kezra? Uh, to no, heal it, 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 it's only the creatures that, okay. that, that, have, that have... Well, well, actually, hold on. Let me... Yeah, because it's... All, all creatures and objects. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh... Well, you're not making a attack on I'm not, it. But I, I am casting a spell at range at a target. Yeah, go ahead. All right. We'll see. 
teacher, uh, weren't you supposed to assign homework today? <laughs> Just make it so none of this matters. <laughs> All right, 12 on the die. We're 12 good. on the die, we're good. We can do it. All right, and I'm going to... Give me that love. Give Kizzer some sweet, sweet healing for... Oh, yeah. 15. You're you fine. There You're you fine. Pretty much and got then... it back. Oh, wait, do I have another? Yeah, you back. did get it back. So. I have yeah, you get everything action. back. And then one. Yeah. <laughs> get that extra te uh, temper hit points. What? It's just Kesher's just full of massive scars. <laughs> just heals up. And he takes crits. <laughs> we call Tim the damage eraser. <laughs> Only for Kesher, though. And then uh, I'm going to uh, cast shield on myself, because why not? I got an action. There you go. You got actually just throw it around. You got actions laying around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold all these actions. <laughs> Uh, after Adelar, it finally comes to Kezer. <laughs> <laughs> finally. Kill him! <laughs> that, so, that one's looking pretty messed up. Man. Kezra does a quick enchantment, and his uh, blue dragon claws appear. All right. And then he flies into a rage. <laughs> oh, yeah! And he swings out and hits the one, the injured one in front of him. Yeah, with flying so Kezra through. is now raging! Love it. Oh, it was almost a good hit, but not. Uh, Did you roll a concealment? I don't have concealment. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah you got you're good. We, we, so, uh... Shit. Math. 17? Uh, 17 to hit the bird. That one's flanked. That one's it flanked. Is flanked. It is flanked, so yes, you do hit. Yes! Sweet! So that's going to be the claw damage, which is 1d4 plus my damage. Nice. So, uh... Three, f uh, six damage. So I rolled a one. Very, and okay. then I get 1d6 electricity damage from my claws. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. Four lightning damage. This thing's a little roasted. You drag your claws across its face and it dies. Yes. Nice. <laughs> yeah. As electricity arcs out from its dead body. <laughs> you can smell like the smell chicken just... So after Kezra, it comes back to the top of the round with Elkwood. All right. So with one down, Elk <laughs> is going to actually, as a free action, um, drop his bow. Okay. Um, draw out his draw. Um, draw his um, sword. Uh, okay. His Elvis curved sword, and move in front of Kezra. And with that, that'd be one action to draw, one to move, and last to s take a strike. Got it. Swing. You swing at the pretty bird. <laughs> pretty bird. Ooh, natural 17. How, how oh, long yeah. were they dazzled for? Uh, four rounds. Okay. Yeah, so that's a 17. Oh, plus that. So that's a, oh, geez, math. Uh, 25 to hit. Yeah, that definitely hits, yeah. yeah. Yes. So that... Uh, the one thing I'm trying to remember about Hunt Prey is that since it is the same creature, I don't know if that's supposed to carry over. Oh, because you hunt, hunt Prey the first one? Yeah, and even though the second one looks like the same exact creature. I'm going to say... I'm going to say no. Yeah. Only o only because it says when you target a creature, so... Yeah. But, so. but it, it, if there's something that says you fight two of the same thing and it works the same way, yeah. then, then, I, then we can do that from now on. I need to look at that description. Okay. But um, that's going to be a 1d8 then. Oh, max damage. For oh, nice. 10. Well, if I had piercing, but uh, that's 10 damage for from the Elvish Curve Blade. Got it. Nice. Yeah. Love That's it. awesome. And yeah, you slashed it for a pretty pretty big hit there. And draw. So I'm just going to draw, move, hit. And then Skult is going to turn his attention to that one. Do you have to command Skult? I don't know. Since he's right there, I don't think he's just going to sit there. Like that's the one thing about like commanding animal animal companions I've been reading about. They like I commanded to attack the one, but it's not that he's just going like, "Oh, it's dead." And not I mean, I, in my opinion, Skull would sit there and like s and s like sling it oh, around like a rag doll, yeah, like a new toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he'd still be on the dead one. Yeah, he'd still yeah. be on the dead one. He's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Okay, so I wouldn't be able to command him then at that point because I used all my three actions. Well, he's got a new toy, so just let him have his fun. And then yeah, he's, he's just shaking the shit out of it. <laughs> I mean, he can't get into flanking position anyway. Right. So, so that's very sucks. Uh, oh, it's annoying. 
Okay. After Elkwood, it comes to Sir Benson. Uh, make that save of 11 or more, right? Yep. Make a flat check. Yep, made it. Got it. First swing. Natural 17 on the die, so that's going to be <laughs> There we go. Yeah. Nice. Wait, wait, that's what's the total? Yeah, what is the case. total? Um, 24. Uh, just a regular hit. All right. And that is a... That is eight points of damage. Ooh. Jeez. Baller. Second swing. Okay. Nope, that's a miss. That's a miss. Ray shield. Ray shield. And after Sir Benson, it comes to Alok. He saw have to move. Like, uh, can he? It, it, is he within reach with his ten feet? Yeah, he is. Oh, then he's gonna go. And oh, go nice. and Swing at it. That's a reach does. <laughs> reach is nice. Yeah, I mean, like, I was just making sure, like, through people. All right. So first, remember, he was dazzled, so he needs to make that concealment, mm -hmm. which he does not. Oh no. So he swings. He swings the the, the weapon through all of all of the uh, all the colors that you guys see. And it it, it 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 just goes right next to it. You're like, Ooh. what? The, what are you doing? <laughs> it's a thing. Uh, I mean, to be fair, only two people, I think. Oh, three. Yeah, it uh, was it was so. it was Adelar Benson and and Alok, So it's a yeah. split. Yep. Uh, after that, it comes to uh, the birds again. Bird. Bird. Uh, bird is going to go ahead and do his tail lash again, where he gets to strike two creatures within reach. Uh, one of them is going to go for... Uh, one of the attacks is going to go on Elkwood, though, because you hurt him pretty bad. He didn't really like that. That's your move strike. Bring it. Oh, thank you. Since I succeeded this round, do I have to do another one? Uh, yeah, it, it's, it, it, sh it should be per, per, per round. Per, so, is yeah. it per round or per attack for concealment? Well, if it's per attack, I would have had to make two. Oh. Yeah, sure. Let, let, let's make it per round, so okay. you, you should be good now, just for, just for clarity's sake. So uh, first... Let's go ahead and resolve this. How's the 28 sit you, sit you there, Elk? Uh, 28. Not a crit. Not a crit? Ooh. Wow. 19 AC. Good, wow. good for you. So it was almost a crit. Yes, very close. <laughs> uh, you do take 10 damage, though. Ah, he takes 6 damage. Oh! <laughs> well, thank you, Benson. And I rolled a 19. Uh, 19 does hit. Take it I out. love this ability. Um, that's 9 points of damage. And you kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Comes uh, down on good Elkwood. Shot. Good and shot. I just That's smash it. it in the face with my shield and I just drive my sword right into the thing's chest. Yep, and it goes... <laughs> good one, Benson. So you two mercilessly killed these beautiful, beautiful birds. Oh, Don't feel bad. Like the yeah. monsters that you are. Uh, this, this belonged in a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Elkwood, can you make me... Uh, you want to go in and identify these creatures? Nature check. Okay. Uh, yep, go into recall knowledge for nature. Okay. Uh, 18? You just hit it, actually. <laughs> these are called emperor birds. Oh. The emperor bird is a native to the jungles of the Mwangi Expanse. What? And known for its brilliant plumage and innate magic. Oh. While it usually feeds on lizards, big insects, and other small creatures, the emperor bird is highly territorial and not afraid to attack larger prey, such as yourselves. Its beak okay. resembling that much of a smaller uh, peafowl, it is exceptionally sharp, but its deadliest weapon is its tail. The long whip-like blades of bone hidden among its tail feathers are, na are a nasty surprise for any predator trying to sneak up on the bird. Hmm. So, uh, with that, uh, I'll give you uh, I gave you the name. Um, so, the one thing that it did was called Dazzling Display. <laughs> the Emperor Bird flaps its mesmerizing wings. Each creature within a 15 feet can, that can see the Emperor Bird must attempt a will save. Mm. Uh, okay. So, uh, because, was... because you guys have regularly failed, you just got dazzled. Had it been a critical failure, it would have been confused for 1d4 what? rounds. What was the uh, save on it? Uh, you don't know that. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I was just thinking, like, what was... Yeah. Since I... We passed like I rolled what, a twenty-two, and I failed. Yeah, Tw twenty-two. We yeah, it passed. was it was it was a high will save. I'll I'll, I'll tell you that it was a, okay. it was a, it was a pretty crazy high will save. So you you relay this information to the group Elkwood. Yeah, I said some. Uh, it was an emperor bird. Yeah, emperor bird. <laughs> emperor. It was an uh, emperor bird. Uh, these belong to the Wangi Ex expanse. Uh, it's kind of strange that they're down underneath Hell Knight Hill. I think I've seen these things in captivity before back home. But what would bring them down do, here? I do mean, the bumble brushes know of these birds? I mean, they? if if they've been in captivity here, then they. Helga! <laughs> <laughs> Shot down the hallway. What? 
There's giant birds! They're very colourful. Do you know anything about this? No! Well, that's all useful. <laughs> she knows nothing. Hmm. But it's still rather strange that there's, you know, these type of creatures down here. Indeed. Either they were kept by the cultists, or they have found another way inside. Huh. They're not the answer to our question, so let's just press on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I call them Caesar, because that's a dead emperor. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Could pronounce it the other Kaiser. Kaiser. <laughs> so you guys have. Uh, you can walk through this hallway, and you can you can tell that there's a few uh, shoot offs from this main hallway. Uh, what way do you want to go? There's some. There's a few ways to the north, to the south. Uh, there's a big door to the east. You guys could eventually go through. Can we? Um, uh, how, how do you How do you want to proceed? Uh, perception check down. Yeah, the I was about to say. Like, see if we hear anything strange. Uh. It is ominously quiet in this hallway. But if we like lead to a different hallway, like do we hear scrapings of something? Like, like if we wind up at the very head of this, like can we hear uh, down that way? Mm, no, you don't hear anything down that way. So what? to to the left is that to the west or the east? Uh, so. <laughs> that way is north. Oh, north. Okay. Yeah. yeah oh so. well, didn't they? S didn't uh, Helga say that the bear was to the north? Yeah. So if you guys go left, you will be heading north, and then that is where uh, Helba said that. The oh, said that so this is was. north. Yes. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so I like I um, I kind of nudge Benson to the north and say, "Down there, I think is the bear. Do we want to deal with that now or later?" I see no reason to deal with it now. No. <laughs> All right. But. I'm just saying that the bear is only going to get hungrier. Well, uh, let's let's uh, we we'll drag the bodies of the birds like down the oh, hallway. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> here's some hmm. here's some pretty chicken. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and I we... search the birds. <laughs> <laughs> plumage. You can take the plumage, put on your cape or something. Yeah. <laughs> if you find sharp sharp bones in its tail feathers, you're like, oh, hmm, cool. So <laughs> we're gonna, I, I actually I actually like the idea of dragging the chickens down there. Yeah, yeah okay, okay, just in case. You know, I grab one, Benson. I will grab one. Yeah, let's go listen at the door. Okay, so they're large. You, go to the <laughs> first, you go to the first door on your left there. Yep. All uh, right. Elk picks up his bow again. So. Mm. Uh, so you listen at the door. Uh, you don't seem to hear anything. Which one are we listening to? That one? Or yeah. that one? Yeah, we went. Does the one. door look barricaded? Uh, no, this one does not look barricaded. It looks mm. like a regular so old this but bare room. functional door. Yeah, well, they said that they fed it through the door. Well, didn't they say they barred the door? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, yeah. They, yeah, they said they barricaded. So this the wasn't room. this. This probably isn't the door. This isn't the yeah. one. Elk, I think I like to take a stealthy approach here. Would you like to take? Would you like <laughs> oh, to take the door? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Character Don't. development. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after getting hit with that crit, I guess that can help. Hey, we all learn at our own pace. <laughs> Ezra's just 45 and realizes that things hurt him. <laughs> My AC is so low. Uh, yeah, he's going to stealth up through the door. Okay. So I'm behind roll him. stealth. One, uh, uh, nine, uh, 20. 20 for stealth. Just creeping up to the door, like at the door right oh, now. I was saying open the door. We're at the door. Oh, oh we're at the door. Okay. Yeah, I was 20, 20 for stealth and opening the door then. Got it. Or perception first. Just to uh, hear anything on the other side. Uh, you didn't hear anything on the other side, and there was a stealth. There was a 20 to open to open the door stealthily. Yes. Uh, so you open the door. <laughs> it creaks. It's narrow hallways. Uh, Got me anxious. <laughs> So you open the door and you see this looks like a B6. A broken bed frame, splintered drawers, and smashed desk ma mark this chamber as a long abandoned bedroom. Greasy tents and moldy piles of cloth reveal that someone had recently been squatting here. Mm. You assume it's these frogmen that are now attacking you. Go ahead and roll me initiative. Ah, oh, oh, shit. <sighs> this hallway. <laughs> Frog people. Frog, frog people. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's a little better. All right. I got a... Uh, Adela got a 25. I was pointing at you for music, but... 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> Play some frog fighting music. <laughs> yeah, where's that swamp battle music? Kesra got battle a page. 17. 17. Uh, so you get a 25 there, Adelar? Yeah. All right. Damn. Yes. Acceleration. Uh, Sir Benson. I also got a 25. I rolled a natural 20. 25. Which one of you wants to go first? I'll go first. The natural 20 man. <laughs> natural 20 man. <laughs> that does make sense. Uh, and Elkwood. <laughs> uh, rolled a 10. 10. And you're in first in line. Yeah, boy. <laughs> so uh, first we're going to go with their surprise round. How many? Uh, they're uh, two. Oh, well. we got it, Jake. He's it's like, I have figures. <laughs> oh. uh, they're, so they're all the way in the back of the room. Oh, there's a chance. <laughs> yes. So uh, both of them throw javelins at you for a surprise round. Oh, oh God. So me, who's uh, right there in front? Me. That's Elk. That's me. <laughs> uh, how's the 18? Miss. Oh, would I be flat-footed? Uh, yeah. Oh, shit, that hits. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ten damage. Ouch. That actually hurt. As the javelin comes soaring through the air and hits you in your leg. Like Ace Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the bone. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the bone. Uh, and the other one gets a ten to hit, so that one does not no. hit you. But now we're going to go to the top of the round as we, as we get the surprise round off with Sir Benson. All right, well, I'm moving straight through your square. Okay. All right. No, no, I got this. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> it's just a spear in the leg. It's fine. <laughs> the bones stop the javelin. Can I reach that one from here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, then I can swing at the first one. There we go. So movement and swing. That's not going to hit, so I raise my shield. Okay. Uh... After Sir Benson goes up and swings with a miss, it comes to Adelar. All right, so Adelar is going to move up uh, 5, 10, 15 feet, which puts him just in range to use Forbidding Ward on Benson and the creature right in front of him. So for those of you who do not know, <laughs> Forbidding Ward um, gives the target a plus one status bonus to armor class, and saving throws against the target of the uh, the target enemy. So the enemy is the one right in front of him. Cool. So you get a little little boost to your AC. Very nice. Right. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And that'll end his turn. All right. After Adelar, it's Kezra's turn. So Kezra, now more difficult to move into the room. Because of Tim. <laughs> We'll move just inside the room, and he will cast Electric Arc, so they both yes. will roll me reflex saves. All right. Uh, not their best, so we'll see. Actually, it's their worst. Wow. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Let's uh, go first one got a 21. <laughs> yep, he's good. <laughs> second, one, worst. second one got an 11. All right, he fails. All right. <laughs> I'll give you one. <laughs> Take he it. takes six electricity damage. What? Look at that. That's awesome. Dope. Dope. As he goes, kick, kick, kick. Yep. Bzzz. Is the one who passed the half damage or no? Okay, damn. Yeah, it's it's, it's either feast or famine. Mm. Oh, uh, it's a cantrip, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, different oh. different spells. Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. Because uh, it goes up and shocks one of them. It comes to actually because they got a surprise around. They actually go at the top. So I'll go ahead and move them up here. Uh, in which case, it falls to Oakwood. Uh, what about? Oh wow. Okay, so I rolled faster than a lock. A lock rolled absolute shit, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Beat you. Uh, no, uh, he is going to... Act he's, he's actually really pissed that he just got hit. Uh -huh. like, oh, you sons of bitches. <laughs> and just, like, uh, he's all hunt prey. The one that is being hit so far. Uh, uh, the one in the, the furthest way in the corner. Okay, so the, the one that got, that got arced. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and Hunt Prey has one action because he can see it from. Oh, oh God. Uh, Plate where it lies. D20. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn it. Uh, that is a 12 to hit. Uh, 12 does not hit. Okay, and he's just on uh, go and just try to shoot again. Okay. Because he is angry right now. <laughs> that misses too. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Elkwood swinging and or shooting and missing. Yep. Uh, then it comes to Alok's turn. Clearly, weren't angry enough. <laughs> <laughs> not angry enough. With I don't have rage with your bow. <laughs> I'm not raging. So Alok can move. Okay, with your speed, twenty feet. Ouch. Guy with your stupid full plate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your stupid defense. Yeah. Uh, so he can move twenty feet. So with two strides, will that get him up there? Can you? Can you? It let me know? should. Uh, it will be double double for those two squares. Oh, then no. All right, move him up however far he can get with 20, 20 feet. I mean, that's range. Wait, oh yeah, he has reach. That's range. Uh, all right, there we go then. So he goes up right behind Benson and he swings his uh, halberd out from uh, just <laughs> just next to you. <laughs> Nearly missing Benson. Yeah, <laughs> just almost cut your ear off. Um. He's going to go ahead and swing uh, with a seven on the die. He does not do it. Uh, no, he just barely makes it, actually. <laughs> barely makes it with the halberd. Oh, that's right. Nice. His two hit is actually very high. Yeah. yeah, well, he's a fighter. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so he's gonna he's gonna roll some damage here with the uh, with the with the halberd. Uh, not 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 much damage. He 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 nicks the uh, he nicks this frog man, uh, but he managed to deal some damage. So uh, now it comes to uh, now it comes to their turn because they had the surprise round earlier. And remember, John, the one right in front of you, you have a plus one AC bonus suit, but the other one you do not. Yes. All right. So the one in the back is actually going to do something pretty interesting here. Uh, he's going to take an action, and he's going to croak very loudly. Uh. And may everyone make me a will save. Who's uh, Everyone within 30 feet make me a will save. So Stop. the one in the back that got electric arced? Yeah. I do not then. I okay, so everyone but Adelar. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> All right, around the table, Kezer. That was a natural 20. Not uh, 20! You're fine. 26 total. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so, wait, what's your total, actually? Because that might matter. 26. 26. It might matter, oh shit. <laughs> uh, so you didn't critically, critically succeed, but you do succeed. Okay. Uh, Adler did not have to. Benson? Uh, flat 20. Adjusted 20. Uh, so you succeed. Elk? 14. Uh, 14, you fail. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and Alok uh, did succeed, so only Elk uh, is now frightened one. Oh shit. Oh man. As this croak rumbles out, it, sh it sends a oh, shiver yeah. up your spine. Imagine just... <laughs> the wound just exasperates. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh. You're just, you're just, you're, you're like terrified by these, by these massive frogmen. But at least, I, <laughs> and plus, I'm hurting actually. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 <laughs> that's, that's a good thing to point out. Yeah, this didn't heal from last combat. So, yep. Um, and he's also going to try to. Uh, he sticks his tongue out at Benson. Who? Uh, the uh, the frogman that just croaked, and now he's going to try to stick his tongue out and hit you with his tongue. Who? Gross. Come on, let's go. It's grody. Uh, there's a tw uh, there's a uh, twenty-two. Yes. Okay, <sighs> you are grabbed. Oh shit! As his tongue hits you in your chest, and you cannot rip it off. Ah, oh, yeah. even with the plus one. No, no. <sighs> so it's. And besides, you get it on this one. It, this is the one that's tagging me. No, that's the one that. No, that's, that's the one, one that croaked. That's he one said that croaked. it was the one that croaked. Oh yeah. Bald. Oh wow. Yeah. Yep. Reaction economy. I mean, uh, it doesn't matter. It still hit me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so you are now grabbed. Uh, so uh, if the creature hits uh, hits someone with his tongue, uh, the creature is grabbed. Uh, unlike uh, normal grab, uh, you are not immobilized, but you can't move beyond the reach of uh, okay. of this creature now. Okay. Uh, you can hit. You can slash at, at the tongue. Uh, it has its own AC and cool. HP, everything like that. So do think about that. Uh, grabbed, you were held in place by another creature, giving you the flat-footed, uh, giving you the flat-footed condition. Normally, you'd be immobilized, but not in this case. 
Uh, if you attempt to manipulate, uh, and if you if you attempt to manipulate action while grabbed, you must succeed at a DC five flat check, or or you lose whatever you're trying to whatever you're trying to manipulate. So you are flat footed while you are grabbed, uh, and for his last action, uh, he doesn't have a javelin anymore because he threw it. It's Dumb right man. here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll just go and take a to take a step up. Let's go ahead and move oh, him five hole. feet up. So him and his buddy are right next to each other. No, no, he, he wants to be he wants to be in melee with you. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, this one, the other one though, the one that has uh, been fine so far, he's going to go ahead and take a few club swings at Benson here. But now he's flat footed. Right. He is flat footed. Uh, uh, how's a nineteen? Nope. Okay. How's a eighteen? Flat footed is minus two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still fine. Okay, so then an eighteen doesn't hit you, and a twelve doesn't hit you. Nope. So, yes. so this, uh, so this, uh, <laughs> the, this frogman, while you're grabbed, he starts swinging his club at you, and you just tongue, tongue, tongue. That doesn't, would, doesn't get through any of it. Yeah, that would have hit me if it Tim didn't do his thing. Yeah. So the first strike, you see a mystical force slowly deflect <laughs> the club away. <laughs> well, golden light. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, that was their turn. Uh, so now it comes to uh, Benson. I'm cutting his tongue off. Yeah. <laughs> all right, go ahead. I ain't got time for this bullshit. Make <laughs> him suffer. Uh, 15 on the die for 22. Uh, that does hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, minimum damage, four. Uh, you slash his tongue off. Oh, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, I'm going to attack the one that croaked. <laughs> well, that was the one that croaked, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that oh. was the same one, yeah. I'm going to keep... No, I'm going to attack the one that Tim did his thing on. Okay, gotcha. Hmm. Nope, that's not going to hit. Um, 13. Uh, yeah, 13 does not hit. Raise shield. Aww. All right. Uh, after Benson, it comes to Adelar. All right, so the one who got his tongue cut off, I'm not going to give him a break, and I'm going to cast a little spell called Daze. So make me a will save. Oh, I'm going to make a will save this time. Yes. Oh, no. Uh, 18. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I right. did. He's all right. <laughs> Quit, they, are, they are willful creatures. <laughs> not, I'm not asking to wind back the clock, but would have 16 have hit? Uh, no. Okay. And then with my last action, I'm going to sustain the Forbidding Ward so that Benson still gets the little little boosts. I say, Abadar, please continue to protect Benson. Appreciate you. <laughs> very, very nice. A rain of money just around here. <laughs> it's like hail. Uh, <laughs> ow. Uh, after that, it comes to Kezra's turn. So now that that beautiful little croaking thing moved within my range... I'm going to do my combo. I'm going to stab it with a spear. Wombo combo. I probably missed with the spear. Yes. But they both roll reflexes saves as I electric arc them now. All right. <laughs> your, your electric arc was pretty useful the first time. Yeah, so. man. Uh, first one got a 19. Yep, he's yeah. good. Second one got a 10. He fails again. Oh. Wow, this, the same one keeps failing. So. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, just cut his bitch tongue He takes <laughs> another... <laughs> So when you cut the... He takes only four damage this time. Minim okay. Minimum on the D4. Got when, it. When you cut his tongue off, uh, does that, like, hit him as well, or is it, like, the tongue is... No, the, the, the tongue has its own AC and HP. Oh. Yeah. Weird. Yep. It's, like, its own separate entity inside of him. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, you know, they, they, they had to... Because everyone asked when they, when they get grabbed by a, by a frog yeah, creature, yeah. can I cut the tongue off? So so they had to give it its own AC, HP. They had to, get, had to give it its own rules. Every time that question comes up. Yeah. Every yeah. single time. Every single time. Um, okay, after Kezra, uh, it comes to Elk. Uh, so I have a question on Frighten. I was, that makes sure that my penalties... I take a one... Yeah, yeah it's, it's, probably, it's, it's like a one to everything. If it was frightened one, then it's minus one to everything. Yeah. Okay. So DCs, two. checks, attacks. Okay. So it's not like I have to run like, ah, like, no. no. Okay, right. cool. So uh, awesome. Yeah, it's just status, uh, status penalty equal to your equal to the value to all your checks and DCs. Okay. So that's oh, so. still fine. I can still yeah. hit this. Yeah, that actually won't, won't affect you then. Yeah. Really. I can still hit this bastard. Yep. Uh, same one, uh, that one that I hunted prey last time. I'm going to use a one of my new skills of hunted shot Ooh. and you just hear the creaking of the bowstring as I line this shot up 
And... Oh, okay. Oh, that would be a 10 plus that. Plus that. Uh, 20 to hit. Uh, 20 definitely hits, yeah. Yes. Fuck yes. And plus he's hunted prey, so that means he gets first time a hit. So that means he gets piercing as well. Mm. Oh, the precision damage, yeah. Mm. Yeah, except I'm probably rolling shit right now. Uh, eight damage. <laughs> eight damage, not bad. Uh, with an arrow flying through, and then he will use his last action to call Skult to attack, or like run forward to attack these hideous old creatures. Gotcha. He has 40 feet of movement. So, each is there each one of those 10 or 5? Whatever. Going through people is an, is extra. Yeah. So it's double. Yeah, he so can get to there. 20 feet, yeah. So that's... So he'd use both his movements to get up in the fray then? Uh, he's yeah. not the one to get yeah. right yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. In the, yeah. Okay. He's only so right there at least. Skull runs through everyone's legs and comes up, and he is now ready to attack, but that was the end of his turn. Uh, could he move him behind the other one? Or would his movement be yeah, done? I don't... You, th you think he can make it? Yeah, so yeah, he's, he's now it. flanking okay, uh, that gotcha. one. Got it. Oh, uh, right. Elk, your frightening condition goes away now. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Yep, it was only frightened one, so... Uh, after Elkwood, it goes back to a lock at the, at the uh, bottom of the round. Uh, luck. It, it, it hit some more, buddy. Hit some more. Maybe hit harder. <laughs> <laughs> just, just hit harder. Uh, 16 on the die. He totally hits. Uh, let's go ahead and roll some damage here. Uh, that was a power attack, by the way. So it's gonna be 2d10. Uh, he hits for a let. He rolls. He rolls really bad on the second on the second d10 every time. Uh, so 11 damage uh, to that one right in front of Benson there. Power attack my ass. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you would you would think rolling two d ten would mm -hmm. hit pretty hard, but he's he's just been rolling pretty bad on, on oh. the uh, on the damage side. Um, after a lock's turn, uh, comes back to their turn. Um, they're done. Well, one one definitely can't use his tongue anymore, so that's something. <laughs> uh, the, so the other tongue. Come the, on. The other one saw that it was pretty ineffective, so they're just going to start swinging clubs. Um, so uh, Benson, they're both going for you. <laughs> Bob and weave, bro. Uh, 28. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh. God damn. That is not critical. <laughs> that not crit. Okay, just a regular hit then for 12 damage. Ow. All right. <laughs> yeah, this club hurts. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell kind of club is it? have nails in it? How are you looking, Benson? I'm all right. All right. All right. For now. Second attack <laughs> uh, is a uh, 16. Nope. Okay, third attack. Uh, natural one. Cool. All right. The other frogman is going to start swinging out with his club at Sir Benson. Uh, 14. Nope. <laughs> 11. Nope. 8. Ah, oh, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so weird. Hit the, ma <laughs> hit the magic number. Yeah. <laughs> magic like number. crazy 8s, yeah. but d, &D. Yeah, but d, &D. <laughs> uh, Six so wings and no natural 20s. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I was, know. I was uh, sweating there for a second. <laughs> so I do have a question. I guess the... I know that natural ones don't really do anything unless someone has a reactive, I guess, to counter that. Uh, or? Uh, it, it, if there is an, an ability, then yeah. Um, and, and as far as I know, they're, they're just they're just absolute misses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like I said, until we get that critical fumble deck uh, from okay. Paizo... I thought it was like <laughs> I thought like everything will be fine. Yeah, I thought it was like something certain classes could take advantage, like fighters, like have attacks of opportunity for it, or. Uh, well, f f fighters just get attack of opportunity with like movement. Oh, okay, like that, okay. So. Uh, I yeah. thought it was like dealt with crits yep. as well. So Benson just gets hit hard, uh -huh. and then he just he's just batting maces away with yeah, his shield. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The, the, the first one you took to the face, and then after that you just huddle behind your massive steel shield and just ting 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 ting. Uh, all right. Well, it is your turn, Sir Besson. Uh, swinging at the one right in front of me. Okay. Please, for the love of God, Is hit. this the tongueless one or the one that is not tongueless? Not tongueless. Not tongueless. Got it. That's going to be a hit with a 23. Uh, 23 hits, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, th this one took a few hits from uh, a lock, too, so this one's kind of kind of get worn down. 10 damage. Wow. All right. Nice. Okay. You going you to go again? Yeah, I'm going to okay. go. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Nah, that's a mess. Okay. Raising the shield. Yeah, raising the shield. Oh, man. Hell. Uh, Adelar. Hmm. Uh, question is whether to get to be bold or not. 
When has that ever gone wrong? <laughs> <laughs> every time. Um, okay. Literally every time. All right. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cast another daze on the, um, the guy who lost his tongue. Daze. Okay. So roll me that will save. Another, another will there, buddy. Mm-hmm. Eleven. Oh, that's a fail. That is a fail. Ooh. All right. What, what so happened? What happened? You still? take three points of damage. Oh, what? Yeah, Wait. mental damage. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. If he if he critically fails, that's when the fun begins. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so you cast this, and you see him just go. <laughs> Brain freeze. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then I continue my prayer to Abadar to protect Benson against the. The, t- uh, the frog that does have the tongue. The tongue. Got it. The tongue frog. The tongue frog. <laughs> the tongue frog. Not the tongue less frog. Uh, okay. So after Adelar comes to Kezra. Kezra's going to keep going with this combo. Oh, yeah. Same goddamn roll as the first one. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and roll a yeah, <laughs> uh, First one. Ten. Yeah, oh, he takes some damage. So. Second one, eleven. They both fail. They both yes. fail. Wow. Yes. yes. Max damage. Nope. Uh, six damage though to each of them. Lightning. Okay, so you kill the one in front of Benson. Yes. Nice. Yes. And the other one takes a pretty nasty hit. He's not looking too great now. Which actually. one? The tongueless one died. Uh, the tongueless one is still up. So oh wow. Yeah. So like he channels out of my hand and just arcs between the two of them. <laughs> the one goes frying down. Very nice. Uh. So, yeah, you, you shock one of them, and he falls to the ground, and then he lays still. Uh, and then it comes to Elkwood. All right. He is from We're no longer frightened. No. So <laughs> he is still rightly pissed, but he's now yeah. just like the last one's left, and he's like, all right, he's going to go for another hunted shot. That's two actions. You got him. You got him. I got to. Ooh, 15 on the die. Yeah, that, 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 that'll hit. That's like a 20. Four. Yeah, that'll hit. Yep. Because I that piercing, of course. Oh, fucking min on the freaking D eight. Oh. Oh my god, minimum damage. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Two points of damage. Oh, oh, oh man. No. So. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, and so his action is well. Actually, he's like he's already there and he's ready to go. Um. Oh, he's, skull. He, yeah, he's just on a shoot again. Oh okay. Uh, he'll take a night. Uh, Oh, shit. D20. God, I got ahead of myself for a moment. <laughs> uh, that would be a... Da, 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 uh, minus four. So... Uh, sorry. I don't math. Um, 16 to hit? Uh, you barely miss. Barely. He is flat-footed. Well, I'm not... Oh, but he's being flanked right. So that does hit, actually. Yeah. Oh, yay! Look Woo! at that. Four points of damage. Yeah. As an arrow just there we go. goes right into a side. See, taking that last action that to attack actually mm-hmm. paid off. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. <laughs> and uh, Skolt is going to go for a chomp right on his frog leg. Yes, okay. delicacy. <laughs> ugh, ugh. Frog legs are delicious. They're <laughs> very know. tasty. Never had them. They, they, they taste kind of like <sighs> chicken. Freaking natural one. Oh, oh man. Go. So he's going to bite again because... Yeah. There's no penalty, I guess. Uh, that would be a plus eight. Uh, oh, that negative four, though. Uh, 16? Uh, 16 does not hit. Mm. Even though he's flanking. Yeah. Yeah, Two, yeah sorry. I, I, I keep I, I, I keep, I keep looking at the AC here. It does hit, yeah. Good. Okay. So it's a 1d8. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh, eight Dan. Eight points of damage. Wow. Dude, skull. Uh, he just Man. bites yeah. right into his leg. But can't trip him. You can't trip, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I was trying to hit that first one. Well, that was good. Um, Only oh. I can can trip. Uh-huh. 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 Tim, get out. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, after the Elkwood, it comes to Alok's turn. Alok, you got it in the bag, buddy. You can do it. First thing I thought you were going to say, a lock turns on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I am the leader of the frogman. <laughs> uh, he misses with the first attack. Damn. And he took a wild swing with the with, with his... He tried to do power attack, which takes two actions. Mm-hmm. So his last one, he rolled a natural four on, so he uh. definitely didn't hit that time. 
Yeah, uh, uh, Alok's, uh, Alok's intimidated by Benson, honestly. He's like, you know, he's nervous. He's like, you know, he's heard about he's heard about this great, great guy with, the, with, his, with this devil-killing ability. He's like, oh, I just, you know, he's, he's, nervous. he's nervous. I haven't done anything this fight. <laughs> <laughs> Benson, you're my hero. I'm just so like, hey, You've scared. been parrying those clubs like crazy. That, that's, that's true. Uh-huh. The, the shield's you're been pulling work, through. You're doing Except for the one that hit you right in the face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard Well, he lot. had it at his neck, and he happened to, he happened to be doing a vertical hit. Yeah, And so yeah. it just clunk. Oh. Uh, all right, it comes to uh, the frogman's turn. Uh, he doesn't have much left. He's 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 gonna he's he's fighting to the death here. Uh, except he turns on the wolf. Yeah, I figured. Oh, <laughs> oh no, that makes sense. He did more damage. <laughs> right, can't hit the can't hit the the shiny paladin. But it can't, can't hit dog. what your eyes can't see. Bitch. I can hit the dog though. You know. Wow, with a twelve. Yeah, he missed. With a sixteen. Miss. <laughs> To the 15. Miss. Son of a bitch. <laughs> AC, AC 17. Dude, was, okay, my, my, my rolls were going 2 with a, with a full attack, 11 with the minus 5, huh. and then 15 with the minus 10. <laughs> it went backwards. Suck it, DM. <laughs> Suck it in your monster. He's, he's, he's just juking, man. Yeah, well. Uh, all right, after, after the frogman turns around and tries to swing at the wolf, the wolf just... just Not swerve, having any of that swerve, shit. Swerve, swerve. Benson. I'm going to stab this thing in the back. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does a 10 hit? Nope. <laughs> oh. But he's angry right now. <laughs> 17. Uh, 17 because he's flanked, yes. Yes. Finish him. That's max damage. Yes, That's is. 11 damage. Uh, he dies. Yes. yes. <laughs> he has five left. All right. Die, scum. Goes down. Piece of vile fifth. And, and he's don't walk over with the javelin and just stab it in the chest. <laughs> just angrily. <laughs> just bleh. die, die. Bleh. Don't turn your back on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but all right. So all we right. killed frog people. You, yeah, we're gonna search this room. Yeah. Yeah. Killed the frog yeah. people. Stinky, moldy room. Mm-hmm. I'm right. gonna search the frog people. Uh, so as elk went over to to. To finish off the, this uh, the, the, this frog person, it explodes. He he <laughs> yes. croaks out something that sounds like the hawk will kill all, and he dies. What? Dark Bill? What? The hawk will kill all. The hawk. Mm. Mm. The hawk. Can I roll a lower dragons on the hawk? Uh, yes. What? Or oh, religion. Wait, religion? I religion. got religion. I got religion. I got that. Oh, yeah, Kezra. Mm-hmm. That's the shit. Mm. That, uh, yeah, 20. 22 for religion. 20. Uh, wait, everyone got above 20? Oh, John, I got 20. I'm not, not everyone. Green. Not everyone. Well, some I mean, I'm not. Some people got a natural one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm not trained in it, so. Everyone above a 20, you actually notice on his shoulder pad. Uh, he has a re- he has a religious sort of symbol on it. You recognize it as an unusual symbol, sometimes associated associated with the cult of Dahak, the god of evil dragons. Oh. He is more well known. His more well known symbol is that of a falling, burning scale. Uh, but this successful check confirms that this uh, uh, confirms that these guys worship some evil dragon deity. Oh Jesus! What? Oh yeah. Things just got more complicated. Yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs>